Hi, I'm Jean Panikiefner, the Director of Sales at Thursby by Identiv. This is part two of our 12 part Sabrosa for iOS user guide series. In this video, I'll be walking you through installing and getting started with Sabrosa. If you don't know what Sabrosa is, or if you're not sure which app to download, I recommend checking out the first video in this series. A link to that is available in the description below. Let's get started. Now that you've installed the correct app, you need to attach the correct reader. Sabrosa works with any of the Apple readers in our P-Card Reader family. We have a variety of sleek, durable cases to choose from, or you can use one of two plug-in reader options. Before launching the app, connect your reader into the lightning port and slide in your CAC or PIV card. The first time you open the app, you will be prompted to register. This is optional and simply helps us contact you in case of crashes in the app. After registering, you will be asked to select a group of bookmarks based on the branch of government with which you are associated. You can select as many or as few of these as fits your needs. When you're done, simply tap the import button. Occasionally after a major upgrade to the app, a screen will pop up notifying you of important new features in the app. If you select OK, this message shouldn't return until the next major upgrade. Now you are ready to use Subrosa. Subrosa is designed to function like any other web browser, so simply type in the URL and you're ready to browse. In the next video, we'll go into further discussion on how to tell if your card reader is being recognized and reveal a few gestures that will make browsing the internet with Sabrosa a breeze. If you have questions about anything you saw in the video today, or if you would like more information on our products, please feel free to reach out to us by phone or email. We'd be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for your time today. I hope you found this video helpful.